In April 1970, three astronauts set course for the moon. It's Houston, we are uh, go for launch. In the 13th hour. Ignition sequence starts. In the 13th minute. Three, two, one. The 13th Apollo mission was launched. Get ready for a little chalk, fellas. And on the 13th day of the month. Our next broadcast will be from the surface of the moon. Everything that could go wrong did. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Lane in. All right, quiet, please. Here we go. Are you rolling? See. Universal Pictures and Imagine Entertainment present Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, Kathleen Quinlan, Ed Harris, and Gary Sinise in a Ron Howard film. Apollo 13. Okay, we're gonna rack back that way. Let's try a rehearsal. You stand by, please. Director Ron Howard brings to life this gripping drama, the true story of three astronauts struggling to survive in a crippled spacecraft, and of the commitment of the men and women of NASA whose task it was to bring them home alive. The odds against them making it back were kind of 10 to 1. The more I kept learning about the actual mission, uh, the, the, the more I realized just how dramatic truth in this particular instance is. Two-time Academy Award winner Tom Hanks stars as Apollo 13 Commander Jim Lovell. Jim Lovell was probably the most well-liked of all the astronauts. He's very easygoing, notoriously easygoing, as a matter of fact. Fred and I float down the tunnel into this guy. And I take the controls, and I steer it around for a nice, soft landing on the moon. Give me a go, no, go for launch. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. FAO. We are go. Capcom. We're go, flight. We are go for launch. The clock is running. Houston, we have cleared the tower in 1313. They've lifted off, and for two days, everything is perfectly normal. ADS to manual and board. And that, gentlemen, is how we do that. Okay, guys, we're going to the moon. We're up there in the, in the capsule, and we're on our way, and looks like everything's going to go fine. Uh, this is the crew of the Apollo 13, wishing everyone back on Earth a pleasant evening. All of a sudden, a couple hundred thousand miles from Earth, about two-thirds of the way to the moon, um, a slight defect finally surrendered to Murphy's Law. And there's a big explosion. This explosion that completely crippled the spacecraft. Let's get that hatch button. The limb might have been hit by a meteor. Odyssey, we need a confirmation. So what systems do you have now? Houston, we have a main bus A undervolt. Econ, what's your data telling you? It's, it's reading a quadruple failure. That can't happen. At first, they really don't know exactly uh, what it is. We are venting something out into space. I can see it outside of window one right now. It's got to be the oxygen. Hell yes, they were scared. They were very aware of emergency procedures, although they had never anticipated a quadruple failure. We're not going to have power much longer. The ship's bleeding to death. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has lost all electrical power. Why don't we have loss of radio contact? The whole world was kind of focused on these three guys floating around in this tin can that very easily could have just bounced off into space and become a floating museum. Fredo, how long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. For the filmmakers, attention to detail was essential in recreating the Apollo 13 experience. What really happened on the Apollo 13 mission is worth putting on film. These actors have surrounded themselves with the real astronauts that went into outer space in order to play these roles authentically. I've always wanted to play an astronaut. I've always wanted to, you know, to shoot a vast section of a movie completely encapsulated by nothing but metal, glass, and switches, and I finally have a chance to do that, too. So it, it's, it's, this is real dream come true stuff here. People have forgotten what these guys on Apollo 13 and all everybody at NASA and what the world went through at that time. And I think Ron Howard has been very true to the story. You have a great story and you have all this incredible technology and you have something that was you know, very important historically. 
And this moment was, in so many ways, NASA's finest hour. And it's really exciting to be a part of delivering that story. But the biggest challenge for the cast and crew was filming in a completely weightless environment using NASA's specially modified airplane, the KC-135. Hold the camera a little lower, Tom. Go a little higher, Bill. Hold the camera a little higher, Bill. Bruce, can you widen your shot a little? Level off. When you're weightless, it feels like you've just been spun upside down. All the blood goes into your head, and it feels like, like when you're in a Rocco plane at the amusement park, it just feels like they, you just got spun upside down. You think suddenly, like, they, you think, hey, I'm upside down. No, I'm not. What's wrong? Why is it different? Oh, I'm floating. And then you realize, well, I guess this is weightlessness. Stand by. Action! It's a movie that hopefully makes you understand what it was like to be there, what it was like to be in the capsule. At this rate, we're going to skip right out of the atmosphere, and we're never going to get back. What it was like to be at home waiting for people that you loved to get back. I have a request from the news people. They can take it up with my husband. He'll be home on Friday. What it was like to be in mission control with no sleep, and trying to make the crucial calculation to send up to these three men who were relying on that information. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. That's why it's suspenseful, and that's why it's thrilling and exciting. That's why it makes a great story. Why are there so many people here? Something broke on your daddy's spaceship. I'm losing it. Not for a Gene, the Odyssey is dying. Be the worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. I see this is Houston. Do you read me? With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. Well, you never know what, what events are going to transpire to get you home.